I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor, and you're watching Colt's Cold Classics, right here on It's Relevant TV. Hi, I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor, and welcome to another episode of Colt's Cold Classics. Today, I'm reviewing a movie from 1990, The Great Darkman, starring Liam Neeson, before he was, like, taken Liam Neeson like regular Liam Neeson, but it's one of his, you know, early action roles. Uh, it's directed by uh, Sam Raimi, who uh, directed uh, some Spider-Man movies, Army of Darkness movies. Uh, it has his brother Ted Raimi in it as a sort of a henchman in the movie. It also stars uh, uh, Francis McDormand, who was in the movie uh, Mississippi Burning, and Larry Drake as the villain in this movie, who uh, had a major role on the old TV series L.A. Law. Uh, and also a uh, cameo in the movie at the very end by Bruce Campbell, one of my personal favorite actors. Now this movie, uh, Liam Neeson is a scientist uh, trying to develop synthetic skin okay, to, to help burn victims. And uh, the night where he makes this break, this big breakthrough, uh, Larry Drake shows up and, uh, and smashes up all of his uh, equipment, uh, disfigures his face, and then burns his hand and kills all of his research assistants and blows up his lab, sending a burning Liam Neeson into the bay. He's pulled out of the bay. They don't know who he is uh, because he's burned all over his body. Uh, doctors, uh, because apparently in 1990, uh, you know, consent laws were a little bit weaker, uh, do the surgery on him where they disconnect the nerves from the brain to the pain sensor so he no longer feels pain. Uh, he escapes, uh, collects all of his... Um, um, all of his research and sets up a new lab to finish his research to hopefully make new skin for him. Unfortunately, he can't, okay? The skin that he has, if it's exposed to sunlight, after a certain amount of time, it begins to melt and dissolve. But he discovers he can make masks of almost anyone. So he decides to get revenge on Larry Drake and the guy he's working for by making masks of villains and infiltrating this evil organization, uh, kills people off one by one, and then finally kills the main bad guy at the very end, saves uh, Frances McDormand, who, who uh, she's a district attorney in the movie, love interest, saves her, and then he goes off, kind of like the Incredible Hulk, to fight crime as a mysterious person known as the Dark Man. And that's where Bruce Campbell shows up at the end as his final mask. Now, in this movie, uh, Sam Raimi uh, wanted uh, Raimi wanted Bruce Campbell to be in this movie. He wanted him to be the main role, but the studio wouldn't let him. But he managed to slip him in and be in the movie at the very end, credited as Final sh Shrimp, uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, actually, you'll see Bruce Campbell in a lot of Sam Raimi movies, uh, usually as a cameo in the older uh, Spider-Man movies. Uh, now, here's, here's the interesting part about Darkman. At the time, they considered Gary Oldman or Bill Paxton to play the role that Liam Neeson played. And then Julia Roberts was also considered to be in this movie, be in this movie uh, before she uh, made it big in Pretty Woman. This was before uh, that was her big breakthrough role. So, check out Darkman. There's two sequels to it, which are okay at best. Uh, but as Arnold Voslo in that movie, and he, I, I like him. He's, he's, he's a great underrated actor. But the first Dark Man is the best. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And tweet me at Colt S. Taylor on Twitter. I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor. And I'll see you later.